All right, y'all. I want to give all praises to you. How about Shah? Um, and in this video, um, I want to just kind of talk about a specific law, a specific law that a lot of people may have a problem with. I don't understand why, but we're going to get into it. This video is going to be fairly shorter than most of my videos, but let's go get into it. So share my screen real quick. Share my screen. Play this a little bit. All right, so I think it's in Leviticus 27. If I remember, Leviticus 27. Wait, no, 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 no. Hold up. Numbers starts so like <clears throat> I don't know why I went to Leviticus. That's weird. All right. <clears throat> Let me just show y'all. All right. So look. So Numbers 15, 38, also in, De also in Deuteronomy, but these are both, you know, in the uh, Mosaic law. But it reads, speak unto, the ch speak unto the children of Israel, so it's for the Israelites, and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments through their generation, throughout their generation. Meaning that these fringes, let me go ahead and bring up a, a picture real quick. Y'all can see what fringes are. <clears throat> These are where fringes are, right? Hold up. Let me go to shopping and just see. So, these are fringes. These are fringes. Right here. These shirts that you had to have fringes on them, they look like, you know, like tassels, right? These are fringes. So, this verse is saying that throughout our generations, meaning from the, from the point that we're given this law to, like, forever, we're going to we're going to have to uh, do this thing, right? So it says, bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations, and that they put upon the fringe of the border of um, of the borders a ribbon of blue. So, as y'all see, you got the fringes right here, and the borders, the, the, rib, the ribbon of blue, is right here. That's a rib, ribbon of blue, right? And the same thing is there right here, a little bit. Deuteronomy 22 and 12. Thou shalt make thee fringes upon the four quarters of thy vesture, uh, whether wherewith thou covers thy stuff, right? So, <clears throat> I want people to understand how the fact that a lot of people they want to get so, I, I guess like people people try to make something deeper than it really is, and say how these fringes are spiritual, right? And I I don't understand why people do that, but it's just like. It's like that's that one excuse they try to do to, I guess, not keep the law. They say, oh, like those those fringes, like you know, well, the Bible is it's the the Bible is very symbolic and it's very like you know spiritual, right? So you know, like you know, it's it's the fringes could be spiritual, and it's like where in this where in this verse did it give you a spiritual sense of like no, it's literally like saying take those fringes and put it on your garment, on your clothes. And make the uh, borders be a ribbon, a ribbon of blue. This is literal. Nothing spiritual about this at all. You have literal laws, and, and I won't say literal laws, but all the laws like you can do. All the laws you can do. Even to read, read right here in verse thirty-nine, it gives you the, the uh, reason to why we wear these fringes. Right? It says, "It shall be unto you for a fringe, that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord, and do them." And that ye speak not after your own heart in your own eyes, after which ye go, use to go a whoring, right? So, how do you look at a spiritual fringe? If y'all want to sit here and say that these fringes are spiritual, why is it saying that when you look at them, you'll, you'll remember the commandments? Can you look at something spiritual? Like, is something spiritual, like, visible? Like, if it's something spiritual, like a spirit, right? Can you see a spirit? No. But how can this how can this be spiritual fringes if it's saying that when you look at them literally with your own eyes that you were you were, uh, remember the commandments so that's a cut on that but let me show y'all how easy as a matter of fact let me go to first john 5 3 real quick i'm gonna go to first john 5 and 3 real quick <clears throat> so look first john 5 and 3 says for this is the love of god that we keep his commandments and his commandments are not grievous, meaning they are not hard. 
It's not telling you to do something that you can't do. These laws are kind of simple, to be honest. There, it's not. It's not the hardest thing to do, but people people make it so hard, and they go to that to, to the uh, Christian church. They tell them, "Oh, well, you know, you can you can do whatever you want. You ain't got to keep the laws anymore. Like you know, the laws done away with preaching preaching all those laws." But if you want to show your love to God, keep His commandments. So if I was to ask somebody right now, do, do they love God? If they say yes, and they don't, if they say they love God, and then I ask them follow up question: Do you keep His commandments? Do you wear fringes? Do you eat shrimp crab? Do you eat shrimp, lobster, crab, pork? Do you keep the Sabbath? If I ask them these things and they say no to any one of them, then it's like, okay, you don't love God then. Because you don't you don't keep the law, you don't keep the commandments of God. But the whole point I'm trying to make is that his commandments, though, they're not hard to keep. And I'm gonna show y'all how they're not hard to keep, right? So let's go to that uh the Greek word, not the, not the Greek word, the Hebrew of that word fringe, right? Let me show y'all something. So look, y'all see right there, it says seat seat, seat seat. So it either could be a seat seat or fringe. Fringe, seat seat, tassel lock. It says fringe, the biblical, def not biblical definition, the biblical, biblical usage is a fringe, tassel lock, so a seat seat, a floral or wing like protection, a forelock of hair, tassel, fringe lock. So let me start something real quick. So there are two different ways you can wear fringes. Either you wear these actual fringes right here that's already on your garment. And you can you can buy like you know, even though you know these shirts look the shirt the shirt only costs like ten dollars. You got people buying shoes for like five hundred dollars, but you can't wear fringes for ten dollars. You can't buy a ten dollar shirt. But not only that, let me show you something else, right? Hold up. Now let me go back. Hold up. Let me show y'all something. Let me show y'all something real quick. Hold up. Look at these right here. Look. Zeet Zeets. And these Zeet Zeets. And they're look, they're clip ons. You can buy these Zeet Zeets. They're $17. Nine dollars, different different prices for you know different it's different different price ranges or whatever. You can buy a whole set of them for twenty dollars, but it's not that it's not that uh what's call it um expensive. It costs like literally less almost around twenty dollars. But you can buy these zeet zeets, and look they're clip ons. Look, Cause like I said, it's like a lock. You see these those look like little things right there. It's a, a little lock on it. You can take these and put it on all your shirts. For not for for ten dollars, ten dollars, you could you can buy four of these and put it on all your shirts, all your shirts that you wear, all of them. As long as the, as long as as long as those shirts are not mixed fabric, then okay then. Even that that is easy as well. I'm, I'm gonna go get to that in a minute. But I want to focus on the uh, fringes. But you could take these and put it on and clip it on all your shirts. If you don't, if you don't want to wear the the uh, original fringes or whatever, if you don't want to wear these, you could just buy these. You can buy these and clip it on all your shirts, letting you know how his laws—they're not grievous, not not hard to do. It's not asking. It's not asking you to do something that you can't do. So there should be no excuse why people should not wear fringes. No excuse. If I want to make an excuse, then okay, then like you, you can be in that in the uh what's called that like a fire that's gonna come. All y'all want to sit here and just just make excuses to not keep God's laws, but it's very important to keep God's laws. Very important. That's why I made I'm I'm making a bunch of videos trying to explain God's laws and also make make y'all see how easy it is to keep his laws. It's really, it's really easy. Even though some concepts may be a little bit complicated and everything, but at the same time though, it's still fairly easy though. It's not grievous, like his word said. But that's all I want to kind of talk about in this video. Like I said, this video is fairly short, but I just I just wanted to explain fringes. Explain to y'all how how like you no know, wearing wearing fringes, it's not a hard feat. It's not telling you to do something that you can't do.
Let me show y'all something real quick. Hold up. Block it, y'all. Hold up. Let me show y'all something. Got my shit real quick. But uh, look, these right here, I bought these. The ZZs, the ZZs that I talked about. It's not. It's not that hard, dog. It has a clip on. Now I just. I just happen to like you know attach mine like together and everything. Just lock it on together. Then I just put it on my shirt. But like, dog, it's not that hard to keep that law. It's not that hard to keep that law at all. Not that hard. I do just buy them for like less than ten dollars or whatever. Attach attach it to all your clothes, whether it be you know all your shirts or whatever, and you, it's like a one time. It's a one time like deal basically. You just buy them one time or whatever. If you want to buy some more, you buy some more. You can have like you know different color fringes or whatever, or different different color ZZs. But it's literally like you know it's not that hard to keep that law. So that's all I want. That's all I wanted to talk about in this video. I got a bunch of other videos coming on the way. Breaking down, breaking down, you know, other different laws and everything, and showing y'all the importance of these laws, and also showing showing y'all um exactly how easy it is to keep these laws. You know what I'm saying? It's not that hard. It's really, it's really not not that hard at all. But I love y'all. Hopefully y'all got edified this video about fringes. Some people, some people, it's probably their first time even hearing about fringes because in the Christian church, they're not they're gonna tell you so you know um you know. Stay away from sin. They don't, they don't even know what sin is, but that's First John three and four. Sin is transgression of the law, and the law is the commandments. And one of the commandments is wearing fringes. But they don't explain, you know, how like you know how important this is and how easy it is to wear these fringes. It's very easy, very easy. But I love y'all. Even even though people may sit here and tell y'all, oh, you know, I, I love you, brother. They don't love you if they're not trying to teach you this word. They don't love you if they're gonna continue to lie to you, lie to you, and tell you that oh you can you can do what you want. That's not love. You're not you're not tell, you're not really loving your people if you're not trying to bring them back to their true to their true identity and tell them exactly what they need to do to get to heaven. Even Christ himself said in Luke in Luke 10 and Matthew 19 that the way to like inherit eternal life is by keeping the law. So with that, I love y'all. Peace, Mr. Long.